Come to think of it, there are only few small form factor pieces that can actually allow you install a full profile graphic card on it. So if you hate tower pieces, you don't like that your PC is so bulky, taking up all the space in your apartment, you don't want that, you hate that, you absolutely want to keep your space for yourself, but then you do love small form factor pieces. And not only that, you have a graphic card, an NVIDIA Quadro P2000, a full profile graphic card at that. The problem is you are right now in the market searching for a small form factor PC and you suddenly realize that there are not so many possibilities out there for you. All the small form factor PCs that you tend to see online are those that are built to actually allow you install low profile graphic cards, but you don't want a low profile graphic card because in any case, you already have an NVIDIA Quadro P2000, like I said, which is a full profile graphic card. So you are only left with one option and that is this PC right here. It's a Fujitsu S Primo PC a small form factor PC. Beautiful thing is that Fujitsu understands this. They know that there's going to be that one person somewhere in the world that actually wants a full profile graphic card. Unfortunately for you, you are one of those people that Fujitsu engineers actually had in mind when they were designing this beautiful PC here. This is one small form factor PC that will actually allow you install your full profile graphic card on it. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually do that. So let's say you're actually in the market, all hope is not lost because I imagine that you're already thinking that you have to finally get a very big PC because you don't want to throw away your graphic card because truth be said, this graphic card is still working very well for you. It's kind of quiet, able to deliver all your design needs. So you see no reason that is on to throw away your graphic card. You want to keep it, but even though you're already disappointed thinking that you have to buy this super heavy, big monster PC just to enable you to install your graphic card. In this video, I'm going to show you that hope is not lost. This beautiful Fujitsu S Primo Small Form Factor PC will actually allow you to do this effortlessly. When you get this PC, you're actually going to be getting this PCIe riser along with it. With this riser, you can actually do a lot of stuff with this PC. You can go ahead, upgrade it to wherever you want. You can upgrade the graphic card. You can easily slot in your NVIDIA Quadro P2000. You can slot in other comparable graphic cards. And when I mean comparable, I mean graphic cards that are comparable in terms of size. So with this PC, the bottleneck that a lot of the small form factor PCs have have finally been broken. So you want to consider this kind of PC. I kind of imagine the kind of question you have right now. Hey, hardware money, where do I find this PC? Because I just want to get it as soon as possible just to make sure that I'm able to install my graphic card on this PC. When you go to hardwaremoney.de, I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description where you can actually click on it. Takes you to the website where you can actually find one of these decent pieces. But the beautiful thing is that you're not gonna be finding only this decent Fujitsu PC. You're gonna be finding a whole lot of other PC. This is one PC you wanna consider. Yes, there are possibilities to install uh, a full profile graphic cards on the other small form factor PCs, but problem is, you might have to use a PCI riser that is a standard from the PC, but this particular one is neatly built into this PC, and there's no way you can ever tell, may looking at the PC, that the graphic card has been installed on a riser. To install it is pretty easy, just in case you are fortunate to still get this PC because PCs like this, they are very, very, very hard to find. Don't think for once that you are the only one in the world that have these kind of problems. A lot of people seeing this video now might want to check out hardwaremoney.de and quickly buy this PC because truth be said, there are not so many PCs with this kind of design. So let's say you are looking for a PC, this is your chance. I'm going to go ahead and install this graphic card on this PC just to show you how it's done. It's a one-way process, very easy to install. The first thing you have to do to be able to install this is to take up the cover of the PC, just like that. Take it out gently. And in this way, you have access to the inside of the PC where you can then go ahead to install your graphic card. This is beautiful and there's a lot of space right there. And just what I have to do now is to go ahead, grab the graphic card. But before I install this, this looks a little bit uh, dirty and dusty. I always like to in clean my graphic card just to be sure that they are free from dust. All right, now that the graphic card has been cleaned, this is the best time for me to take it up and just push it onto the, um, onto the PCIe riser, just like that. So you have to grab it and make sure you carefully align it exactly uh, this way. Make sure it's sliding in onto the uh, PCI slot of the riser. 
and then give it a gentle push. As soon as it slides down, you will feel it. You will see that the graphic card is sitting uh, properly in place. If you look at it, everything looks uh, so neat. Everything looks so clean. And this is how it should be. This one here is just to enable you make sure that the graphic card is properly uh, sitting, just like an additional support to the graphic card. So when that is in, the next thing you have to do is to take up a screwdriver and make sure you are actually screwing uh, the graphic card bracket onto the chassis of this uh, PCI riser right here. Otherwise, if you just install it like that, there's uh, every possibility that the graphic card it's not going to be tightly held in place. If that is the case, there is every possibility that your graphic card or your PCI slot might be damaged uh, during usage, all right? So when that is in, next thing you have to do is to take your the complete uh, component, just like that, graphic card already on the PCIe riser, and then push it down onto the PCIe slot of your PC, just like that. Once again, you always have to be careful while doing these things because Understand that these things are fragile and one way or the other, if you are not careful, if you apply too much pressure, you can actually break a lot of stuff, okay? So that is right there and that also is just an additional uh, holder that you have. So if you have done it correctly, this is exactly how it should look. So now that you have put that right in, you see that your full profile graphic card is sitting neatly on your small form factor PC, just like that. The beautiful thing is that on this graphic card, there are four display ports, which gives you the possibility to connect up to four monitors or even more. So I can easily understand why you don't want to trade this graphic card for just any other low profile graphic card. And having done that, you can then go ahead and close your PC just like that and thereafter you can begin to enjoy the benefit of you having a small form factor pc like this that enables you install a full profile graphic card so once again if you are looking for this kind of pc look no further hardwaremoney.de it takes you to the hardware money online shop where you can easily buy one of these decent pcs this pc has got an intel 6 gen core i7 processor very strong it's got a display port like we saw earlier it's got a usb 3.0 port USB 2.0 port. It's got two additional display ports on board. And as if that's not enough, it's also got a DVI port as well as a serial port right on board. This is a beautiful PC in my opinion. Very quiet PC that you can use for your home office. PC that you can use for your school. PC that you can use for your business. Can even be used for gaming thanks to the decent Nvidia Quadro P2000 graphic card that I have just installed. This once again is the Fujitsu Celsius J550N small form factor PC. Decent PC, beautiful PC in all respect. Let's say you are right now in the market. This is one PC that you want to consider. Believe me, I have used it myself. I have not been disappointed. And I really do think that this PC would not disappoint you. Give it a try and let me know what you think in the comment section. Until I see you again, peace.